Hi, I'm Dorothy, and today we're going to talk about preserving fresh herbs. Now, you can preserve herbs in a lot of ways. You can make herbal salts, you can make herbal butters, you can make herbal oils, or you can dry them. To me, making compound butters with fresh herbs is one of the easiest and freshest ways that you can get that taste of fresh herbs in your cooking all year long. So, follow me, and I'll show you how easy it is. Okay, let's get started. We're starting with the butter. Make sure the most important part here is to make sure that it is softened. I prefer not in the microwave because then it gets melted. So you can use salted or unsalted butter. Today I'm using unsalted butter, so I'm adding a half teaspoon of salt to um, the garlic. And instead of mincing the garlic, I like to um, use a mortar and pestle. It just seems like it gets more of the garlic oils out and more of the taste. And it works well in a butter. So I mixed up the salt and the garlic and I'm adding that to the softened butter. Now I'm making a Mediterranean blend right now, um, which is going to be oregano, sage, rosemary, and then the garlic. But um, in the post that you can read at farmtojar.com, um, I show you a, a blends for a Mexican butter, a Mediterranean butter, a seafood butter, and uh, what's the, oh, and a French one, uh, thin herb, or however you say it, I'm not sure. But, um, but they're all great butters and you can get really creative with these. There's no need to follow a specific recipe. Right now, I'm chopping up, or mincing, I should say, the oregano. Um, you wanna mince it pretty fine, and you can do that in the food processor if you want, um, but it just is something else to wash. So I just take a knife, now I'm gonna do the sage, and I chop it up pretty finely. I, of course, it's up to you if you want a coarsely chopped herbal butter, that's just great. By the way, these are called compound butters. Um, and there's all kinds of things you can put in with them. Popular things to add to the herbs are garlic, like I did on this one, and uh, citrus. And for the, like for the Mexican butter, I put in um, lime rind, some of the lime zest, as they say. And um, for one of the other, the seafood one, I used lemon zest. So a tablespoon each of these minced and then I put the rest of it aside to, to use later. But there's the sage. So now we've got a tablespoon of sage and a tablespoon of oregano. And now we're going to just strip the rosemary and um, chop up a tablespoon of rosemary. Now, just a note here, um, all of these herbs came from themed herbal container pots that I grew on the deck. And um, I've got two videos that you can check out. I'll put the uh, link in the upper corner here uh, of how to grow these, a beginner's guide to growing the herbs in containers on your deck or your balcony. And then one of them is um, it's really focused on um, herbal themes. Like I cook a lot of seafood, so I wanted a seafood theme. Um, I do a lot of Mediterranean type of style food with and so I did a Mediterranean theme. So there is the rosemary. And now we're gonna mix all that together. If you don't wanna use a, a knife and a bowl, you can chop the herbs in the food processor and you can use a stand mixer to um, mix all the butter and the herbs together. But this is the easiest and far, far less cleanup. So. You do have to clean your hands, but that's about it. <laughs> All right, so I brought out about an eight and a half piece of wax paper, and we're gonna make the log now. Um, they're called logs, um, and then you cut them into what's called coins or medallions. But of course, you can be creative and make any shape you want. If you want it to look like a stick of butter, go for it, stick of butter is fine. I'm gonna make a log. So you, um, if you don't want the plastic, you can use plastic wrap, wax paper, or parchment paper. A lot of people don't like plastic on their food. So um, like I'm using the wax paper, 
and patting it. I pat it on the top, I pat it on the sides. I kind of get it into something that I can potentially roll. As you'll see, I'm not great at rolling, but you can, um, you can make it pretty rustic and then roll it up in a, in a better way when you roll with the wax paper, as you'll see here. See, I'm not, not real good <laughs> at rolling this part, but all of these flaws can be um, eliminated when you, um, you know, mess with it a bit. Okay, so there's your log. And we're gonna freeze this and then cut it into what's called coins and use it as we go. This is important what I'm doing right now. Wipe your hands with the paper towel or you'll never be able to get the uh, marker to date your, um, to date your compound butter log because your hands will be so greasy, they'll touch the wax paper, the pen won't work. It's just, you know, make sure that you have a paper towel there. So I, I'm wiping down the wax paper again also because you definitely want to label. You, if you make more than one compound butter, you will not know what is what when you open your freezer because they look very similar. So this one's the Mediterranean one. I'm marking it. Uh, as a Mediterranean and I'm gonna put the date and then like I said I made a Mexican one a seafood one uh, a French one and then I made one that was just sage butter okay ready to go in the freezer okay the herbal butters are frozen rock solid and ready to use now when you get ready to use them, um, you can put them in the fridge a little bit um, ahead of time so that they're not so hard, but I find they cut pretty easily when they're frozen. Uh, next up, we're going to do some herbal salts uh, with the remaining herbs that we have out there, but these turned out really nice. I've got the, the seafood one, the Mexican one, the French one, and the Mediterranean one. And tonight, I cut off two coins or medallions if you will of the plain sage one um, because we're going to have pork chops and as they come out of the oven sizzling hot you put one of these medallions on each one and you have a gourmet meal okay and i am doing a uh, video on the pork chops with these butters so that you can watch that later also so check back in we have lots more to share